Go fuck yourself, angels. And uh, uh, uh. and so the Soxtoberfest continues. With your old pal Fitzy here, raising a glass as we bid adios to the angels. Goodbye, angels. Time to fuck up the rays. And say aloha to another ALCS. Look, I don't want to speak for nobody else or nothing, but if you're not excited about the Sox going to another ALCS just because they've been winning a lot in recent years and stuff, then you should probably go to the brain doctor and ask him for some pills because I think you've got stupid fever. Dude, I can't wait for the Sox and the Gays to lock horns for all the American League marbles. It's been the best matchup all year long. And all things considered, a renewing of this budding rivalry is probably the best American League championship series possible. But before we go any further, let us bid a fond Fenway farewell to the West Coast crybabies that are the Los Angeles Angels of Anelheim. Yeah, we put the sleeper hold on the rally monkey and now he's out for the count. That little piece of shit. Hey, John Lackey. Uh. Mr. Mouth Breather, I hate to tell you this, but the best team did win again this year. Your whole sour grapes rantacular about, oh, we were the better team and, oh, we should have won this year. Actually, you were right. You were the better team at losing and you did win. A chance to go home, play a lot of golf, and shut the fuck up. Okay, now to the ALCS, and it is on like champagne papal bond. Tampa's all excited because this is their first trip to the playoffs. Their first ever ALCS, so congrats on that. And a lot of people think the Sox and their fans are going to get all bored because they're in the playoffs every year. Oh, a fourth ALCS in six years. Oh, friggin' hum. Ah, oh. uh, no. You never know when you're gonna go back. There's no guarantee. You never know when the magic carpet's gonna run out of gas. So you play every playoff game and or series like it's gonna be your last. And that's one of the things I love me about my socks. This has become one hella heated hardball rivalry where neither team likes the other one at all. And I'm telling you right now, a Sox gaze ALCS should be awesome, lively, captivating, and Soxtastic. Yeah, it's Boston Soxtober versus Tampa's Cocktober. Don't you love that one? <laughs> Both teams have a good mix of youth and veterans, and each team has a serious postseason fire lit under their ass. Tampa wants to prove they belong now, the Sox want to prove they belong all time. Boston's got great experience, and Tampa's got one of those pesky, oh, I don't care about anything attitudes. Also, Tampa's got that stupid stadium that sucks it like getting a packing ticket in the rain. Oh my God, what don't I hate about it? The slanted roof in the outfield, the catwalks, all the fair weather fans. God, talk about a humid half-ass hump house. Tampa and their stupid newspapers can talk all they want. The game is still won on the field, people even if it's got like fucking 19 catwalks above it. And I'm expecting the Sox to match these chippy little South Florida shitheads blow for blow. Blow for blow. Oh, your mom would be so proud. I hope the Rays try and get all upstart uppity uppity with us again. You know, throw some excessive chin music, maybe start some unnecessary fights, because then we can just send in Cavelli Crisp again, and he'll be like, hey, James Shields, look, your mom's blowing the beer guy in the stands again. And he'll be like, huh? And then Coco Crisp will just be like, duck, weave, bam. I can't wait. I cannot fucking wait. It is time to play ball and see who is the king of the American League this fall. Till we meet again, this is Paul Fitzy Fitzgerald of townynews.com saying let's go Sox. Let's keep that three out of five World Series dream alive. And Tampa, you can go fuck yourself. Cowbell not included. Playoff baseball. Hooray! Uh.